So, Ed Boom revealed yesterday that Shane Song would be added as a downloadable character in the first combat pack on Mortal Kombat 11. Now, what you're about to see is very, very good for people that want to see Ash from Evil Dead in Mortal Kombat 11. The link for this article will be in the description. So, according to Engadget, Mortal Kombat 11 DLC trailer shows Shang Tsung and confirmed Spawn, as we already noticed. Now, uh, MK11 players have already been waiting for the return of Shang Tsung and the control, the character now modeled on the man who played him in the first MK movie, Kari Takawa. Now, a new DLC from the Combat Pat DLC not only shows off Shang Tsung, complete with shape shifting that extends all the way through his fatalities and a slick your soul is mine reference but also confirms a few more fighters on the way those include spawn sindel night wolf and two still unnamed additions fans have focused on some sound details at the end of the trailer to guess that the last two new fighters would be familiar faces ash actor bruce campbell tweeted the trailer last night and terminator the $40 add-on pack brings all six new characters as they roll out a new week, a week of early access starting with Shang Tsung on June 18th, plus access to new skins and gear. So this is what you get for that uh, additional $40. The combat pack includes six new DLC playable characters released over time, one week early access to the DLC characters exclusive to combat pack owners and then seven exclusive character skins seven exclusive sets of gear so there's the trailer if you guys want to see it now this is just he kind of just messed it up he kind of spoiled it right here uh bruce campbell actually tweeted out saying boy looks like a swell game i have to check it out so he was replying to the shang Tsung uh, is coming tweet from mk11 um uh, as, as well as the combat pack, which he will be a part of. I, I mean, I'm more than, um, this is just me saying this. I'm going all out the way. I'm like 70% sure from my per personal experience of dealing with uh, Ed Boone that Bruce Campbell will be in the game as Ash from Evil Dead. And they went all out to get... Uh, Kerry Tagawa to voice the original Shang Tsung from the original movie. I'm betting everything they will get the original Bruce Campbell from Evil Dead to voice over and to look just like him because they pulled that off perfectly with Shang Tsung. It's like, to me, as of now, Shang Tsung is probably the, the best character on that game out of all the characters after seeing that trailer i think shang song because he transforms into he can transform into the everybody if he's fighting you he can transform into you he transforms into a uh, mrac uh, reptile rain and his fatality when he uh just threw kentara's soul into uh your raiden's body and kentara just exploded inside of him it was crazy so uh, I, I'm telling you right now, this, this is going to be crazy because if you look at, uh, Netherrealm's guest appearances on, uh, Injustice 2, which I thought for a minute wouldn't be top because you had, besides all the DLC, uh, legends like superman and batman wonder woman you know that can't you can't get no better with that they added raiden sub-zero the ninja turtles hellboy and uh, a cast of others so i it was like you can't top that mk9 had a really good uh i mean M mk10 mk10 had a really good um guest list of special characters or um dlc per se when they added the predator alien and jason 
that was you know the horror theme type uh <laughs> dlc but that that dlc has nothing on this so far you have the boss of the bosses shang song you have um night wolf sindel and if if they add terminator bruce campbell and, and of course they already added spawn can't sleep on spawn if they add terminator uh ash or if they add the joker to just kill it this will be uh in my opinion the best dlc uh nether realm has ever made and this put uh this will put mortal kombat 11 probably on the list as <laughs> the greatest fighter or in the top three easily because and i'll tell you why everybody says that uh when you talk about the best mortal kombat games you put mk2 you put uh, mk10 and you have to put the og the uh, mk1 a lot of people like Armageddon, but you put MK10 in there mainly because of the graphics and how today's uh, generation of gaming looks. You know, you really can't compare the 90s uh, games graphically to today's game. So you can evenly uh, measure 10 and 11 graphically, uh, which is better. And 11 is looks way better than 10. They actually pushed the processors on the uh, Xbox One and um, even... The, the Switch looks good, and the PS4 to the limit. They went all out. This looks, if you look at Shang Tsung, he looks almost identical to his real-life counterpart, Kerry Takawa. And, I mean, that that's scary, what they could do. And you look at all the characters, how good they look. Uh, the backgrounds look better. Mortal MK10 is no slouch graphically, by all means. They look, if you watch that shit uh, from afar, it just looks amazing. Especially in 4K, <laughs> it'll blow your mind. But uh, I'm truly stoked to see this confirmation. But Bruce Campbell kind of, um, he spilled the beans, man, right here. If, and I think he really uh, had to deny being in the game because everybody guessed it early. And that data mine uh, that was you know, exposed, but that list is so far accurate. They said Nightwolf. They said Sindel. They said Shane Song, which we already knew. They said Spawn. And they also said Ash from Evil Dead. So that list, ladies and gentlemen, so far has been 100% accurate. Like this video, leave your comment, share this on social media, and subscribe later.